won't come. Oh, no, it won't. It's been a long, long time since y'all was something. It won't be soon. Oh, no, it won't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to just say thank y'all, man. Everybody that been copping up the Hurt Season merchandise and things of that nature, man. Um, I'm definitely going to donate some money to some charity. You know what I mean? Circled around, you know, the sales of the merchandise as of late. Um, definitely going to look into something. Um, I'm going to reach out to Jalen Hurts' agents and see, you know, um, one a charity that he's very fond of, and definitely, you know, um, some some proceeds from this will definitely go to to, to help in some cause of something, man. You guys have been amazing. If you want to get your Hurt Season merch to play off grands and things of that nature and things that's to come, once we punch our ticket to the Super Bowl, man, I got I got I got some special possibly brewing. So listen, man. Um, <laughs> listen get the the description and uh, get the link for the hats in the description of this video and all videos of past thank you for your guys continued support um let's get into the meat and potatoes man the san francisco 49ers defensive end a uh, charles o o omenu i don't want to get his name right um he was arrested yesterday you know what i mean this ain't no gossip gossip blog this pertains directly to the sports um suspicion of a misdemeanor um, what is it? Misdemeanor domestic situation involving him this morning, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was arrested this morning. The team has been talking about it. You know what I mean? They're diagnosing the situation. They're seeing what, saying what needs to happen. And this, that, and the third. This is important to us because he is a defensive, uh, he is a rotational defensive edge rusher for the San Francisco 49ers. Four and a half sacks, um, a forced fumble on the season. He's a disruptive guy. So if he can't go, then that means, you know, other guys have to go in his place, thus throwing off what those guys really do and how strong they are as a unit in a defense. Listen, man, one one thing could change the strength of a defense. One thing could change the strength of the defense. And we see this a lot as Philadelphia Eagles fans, how, you know what I'm saying, how we're a different football team with Avante Maddox off the field. So, you know, I, I'm, you know, that's something we need to, you know, pay close attention to. Um, the All-22 film has come out. I'm going to have some more, you know, thoughts and insights on you know how the 49ers offensive line moves during the course of this week possibly tomorrow i'm gonna be up late getting that film and stuff together um it's interesting so far some of the things that i've saw um uh, the main thing that really you know the, the main thing that really you know blew my mind with the san francisco 49ers is you know they don't really have a strong rotation of guys on the defensive front they're susceptible to the deep shots and you can take advantage of that secondary in times where bosa is not on the field Bosa don't play all, a lot of snaps like 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 a lot of these guys like Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons. You know what I mean? He probably don't play as many snaps as Hassan Reddick. You know what I mean? He 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 get a breather every now and then. And those are the situations and those are the times where you could take advantage of the San Francisco 49ers when he's getting a breather when he's off of the field. Um, I, I I looked at Purdy. You know what I'm saying? Purdy. You know Purdy can be got. We already know this. You know what I mean? I believe that will be the case. Purdy has looked good in the playoffs at home, but now you come into the link. You know what I'm saying? You come into the link. You know what I mean? The Philadelphia Eagles are 60 minutes away from a Super Bowl. I can't, I can't say that enough. I've been saying it all week. We're 60 minutes away from a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? We really got to come to play. We really got to come to play. The Dallas Cowboys defense did a tremendous job after watching the game again. Those guys did a phenomenal job on the stars of, of of the San Francisco 49ers. They held McCaffrey in check. They held Debo Samuel in check. They held Brandon Ayuk in check. George Kittle got off. He had about 95 yards, but those were all in spurts. You know what I mean? He wasn't just a guy that they could go to at all times. Those were in spurts in the moments where George Kittle got off and where George Kittle was able to take, you know what I mean, advantage of, you know, the Dallas Cowboys defense. We got to make Brock Purdy move around. We we, 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 we got to be solid against the run. We got to be solid against so many things, man. So many things. Purdy is a rookie, but they had the number one scoring offense since he entered the starting lineup. 
He got a lot of weapons, man. A lot of weapons. The Dallas Cowboys got an elite defense. What the Dallas Cowboys did really, really good was gang tackle and fly to the ball, and their pursuit was top-notch from start to finish of that game. They pursued. They gave it 110% that defense of the Dallas Cowboys. The Philadelphia Eagles can't take no plays off on defense. We simply can't take no plays off on defense. Every play, we have to be relentless in getting for Brock, getting after Brock Purdy. And every play, we have to be relentless in our pursuit and gang tackling. Debo Samuels and Christian McCaffrey are not guys that you want to shoot string tackle and arm tackle. Bring the house when you're trying to get these guys to the ground. I think we're going to be okay. I feel really confident in this game. I think we got the better quarterback. You know, Trent Williams is a dog still. Let's not forget about Trent Williams. Trent Williams, you know what I mean? Shut down Michael Parsons in that game. We're going to call a spade a spade, but that's Trent Williams. You know what I mean? That's Trent Williams. That's what Trent Williams does. You know what I mean? Every opportunity we got to beat Trent Williams, we can't take it lightly. You cannot take it lightly if you're the Philadelphia Eagles. We got to bring fresh bodies at Trent Williams. We got to bring Robert Quinn. We got to bring Sweat. We got to bring fresh bodies at Trent Williams. I think Hassan Reddick is going to have a field day. They're not going to move Trent Williams, so Hassan Reddick should be solidified in his right tackle position. They move Bosa around a lot, though. They move Bosa around a lot, though. So we're going to get into some film tonight. Uh, me and Simone, me and Simone with the sports, we're going to talk about the matchup tonight. Uh, this evening is going to be a movie for sure. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about some of the All-22 and some of the key things that the San Francisco 49ers do and some of the things we got to look out for. We got a week full of con. Tent a week full of content. Goat talk might be kicking off tomorrow as well. We just in the zone. We just in the vibe. Make sure you stay tapped in. It's going down. Fly Eagles fly. The Philadelphia Eagles, San Francisco 49ers, NFC Championship game, Sunday at three o'clock. <laughs>